it's Brittany Balin, or as some people I guess like to call it Ballin, but it is not, it is Balin, it's just spelled funny. But anyways, this is my monthly January favorites, and I'm going to do favorites and least favorite. I'm going to go back and forth between the favorite and then the equivalent least favorite, because for some reason this month, I had... I say I loved a perfume, I also hated one. I loved a lip gloss and I hated one. So I'm going to start off with perfume. First is Pink Sugar, and this is a really good everyday scent. It The name pretty much describes it. It smells like sugar, cotton candy kind of a thing. So this is the bottle thing, and I haven't used that much yet, but I'm going to spray some on right now, even though you can't smell me. Yeah, it smells like candy. So I have really been loving that for January, and then the mist that I had in perfume, and I love this bottle, okay, that's not the reason, I mean, obviously, how can you not love how cute this little bottle is, but honestly, it smells, it smells like, I don't want to, it's not my style, I either like musky, 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 why does that sound so weird to me, musky or sweet scents, uh, this is neither, I want to, it's just, this just isn't my scent to me. This is more of um, a girl that likes to go out and have a lot of fun with guys. I don't know. I'm sorry if you have this and you love it. I'm not trying to say anything mean about you. Um, it's just not my taste. But I am going to keep it because I love the bottle. Next is... Oh, and I wanted to do a little giveaway. Actually, kind of a long story. But, okay, so here is an old one and this is like the mini size they have a big size of $42 this was a sample at Sephora this is the Laura tantalizer I'm wearing it now I just love the glow it gives you it's the best and I'm obsessed with it and I went to Nordstrom Rack and I saw that they had them for only seven dollars at Nordstrom Rack so I went crazy and I bought three of them and when I got home I realized I really don't need three so I'm going to give one away just for fun. So leave a comment down below on what were your favorite things or least favorite things this month. And I will pick one randomly and in one week from now I will send it out to you. I'll name the winner probably either in a video or on Twitter and you will email me your address so I will know where you live. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't like come to your house or anything. But yeah, so that's kind of cool. You can win one of my favorites. I just have too many. I outdid myself. The equivalent least favorite of the bronzer is the City in Color, which I received at IMAX as a gift. Just compared to the Laura Tantalizer, it's not for me. It would be really good for an eyeshadow. It's just almost too pigmented in a sense that it makes my cheeks look fake. Uh, I, I don't I don't like that. Next is eyelashes and oh yeah. Eyelashes, my favorite eyelashes of all time are Dell number 116s. If you want to see how they look on, I wore my previous video, which was my top 10 favorite lipsticks, and I think I also wore it in my video before that. These are just my favorite eyelashes for my eyes. I guess everybody will have a different type of favorite eyelashes, depending on how you like your eyelashes to look. I like how these are shorter on the inside, and they wisp out, and I love them this much, so I bought a whole bunch because I tried a lot and those are my favorite. The equivalent of eyelashes which I hate are the Ardell 108s because they just are so little they don't do anything at all and I feel like they they make my eyes look worse almost. So I might use these for bottom eyelashes but I am not impressed with the Ardell 108s. The 116s are the best. If you haven't watched my videos in like two weeks, then this will be new to you. Otherwise, you have heard about this all the time. I love the Lime Crime Velveteen. Mine is in Suede Berry. I really wanted Red Velvet, but it's sold out everywhere. I think Suede Berry is sold out a lot as well. I know new colors are coming out for spring. The Velveteen formulation is just like matte, but it's not drying. It doesn't wear off. It lasts forever. The color is awesome. I think I wore it in my what video were you? I think I wore three videos ago. It's a hot coral and I, I love it. The equivalent of that in, for a mist for January would be the NARS, and I'm using this for a brush holder now, is the NARS Andy Warhol Edition Lip Gloss Set. It came with five lip glosses and it was on sale at Sephora so I decided to get it and because I usually I love NARS glosses and I can't find where the other ones are but this is an example they're just so small for the price it was even on sale I think on sale it was still $45 
And so I think it ended up being like $8 gloss or something. I forget how I calculated it. But uh, the glosses look really pretty. The container's really pretty. I'm just not impressed with any of the color payoff or anything of the sparkles. The wand is horrible. It's super stiff, like this part, that it just drags away gloss and it almost chaps your lips. I, I do not suggest anyone getting those, but I am going to keep it because I love it for a brush holder. I think the container was the star of the product, definitely. The last product is going to be one I love, and I don't have an equivalent hate for it, so that's why I have an extra amount of love this month of January, and it was the MAC concealer set. I have the light one, so pretty much I'm going to do a video on the concealing and how I like to conceal with it because it kind of like changed my whole life, this whole palette. I usually am not a fan of MAC skin products except for blushes and mineralized skin finishes because they can make me break out. This has not made me break out and it comes with so many colors because you can do different things with it. Uh, AKA this is for under eyes and it will get rid of dark circles. This is for acne, it will cancel out redness and then you can play around with the other colors to contour your face and while concealing, which is a very Kim Kardashian thing to do. And uh, it is expensive, I think it is $42, but I think this will last me at least for a year and a half, and I have been using it every day. I absolutely love it, definitely a favorite for January. And that is everything. Again, there is going to be a little giveaway in this video, like I said, all the information down in the description. And thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoy my channel and would like to be updated, then just subscribe, it's totally free, and if you would like to be friends with me, all my links to my Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter will be below, and I couldn't be talking any faster, so I should just say au revoir, goodbye!